Yo, what's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense, back from his mini vacation. We were supposed to be going to Orlando. Instead, we ended up going to Valdosta um, and going to Wild Adventures. Now, I'm 41 years old, and honestly, I can say I have never been to a an amusement park. I have been to uh, Summer Waves here, which is a water park. Um, I got on a few big slides and stuff like that. But I have never in my entire life been to an amusement park where you get on roller coasters and rides and, you know, stuff like that. And I've always been kind of terrified of the bigger rides. Like, I've got gotten on some rides at our local fair here. You know, they got stuff like the little sea dragon that swings back and forth. I got on the... Uh, What's the name of it? The Gravitron. You get inside and you're up against a padded wall and it spins and then you go, you lift up. I've been on that. I've been on a few other things, but I've never actually been on a roller coaster. And I actually did it. Um, I got on a few roller coasters. Um, I was having a blast, guys. I was having so much fun. And then, of course, as you know, story of my life, something always goes wrong. Uh, my friend actually took one of her sons, her youngest son's friends with us. So it was me, her, and them two, two boys. And her son is a little mouthy. And her friend, I guess, his friend, I guess, since he does it, he felt like he can do it too. Usually I don't say anything because, you know, that's her son, that those are her people, whatever. I just chill. But yesterday, you know, in the midst of having all this fun, uh, we got on a couple of, of roller coaster rides. He was so scary, he didn't want to do it. So he was just standing off to the side waiting on us to get off the ride. So we got on this one ride, and when we came back, he was gone. So naturally, she's in panic mode. She's a female, and I tell her a lot that she needs to relax, man, calm down. Things only escalate when you get bent out of shape. She's flailing her hands around and, oh, my God, and I can't believe this, and I'm ready to go. And all I said, okay, you know what, let's just find this boy, find out what the problem is, whatever, whatever. So we walked around for like 15, 20 minutes looking for this boy. Couldn't find him, and that place is huge. Finally, we were going back to where we just got off the last ride. And he was coming back towards us. So she's snapping. She's telling him, you know, he needs to stick with us and yada, yada. And he don't see that he did anything wrong. We can tell he's wet. So he's been on some kind of water ride. And he's telling her that I was just right here. I was just right there. And the whole fact of the matter is or was you should have either said, hey, I'm finna go to, you know, the next ride over to the water park area or just stand there and wait on us to get off the ride. Um, I got tired of him mouthing off and I snapped. I just totally spazzed out in front of a whole bunch of people. She trying to calm me down and which I know a lot of people are going to jump on here and say, oh man, you shouldn't have did that. But fuck all of that. It is what it is. I don't tolerate any kind of disobedience or back talk. And stuff like my like my kids don't even play with me like that. So, you know, I'm basically in mode where I don't even want to be at this park no more, this place anymore. I just want to go. And so I did calm down eventually. Time went on. We, you know, did a few other things at the water park, and then we finally left. But on the way to Valdosta. We hit Waycross, Georgia, and I don't know how many of you are familiar with this area down south here, but Waycross, Georgia is a small city or town, if you will. has a few things there, but when we were coming up, we noticed the sign, TJ Maxx, first thing in my mind, I'm stopping. I don't give a damn how much time this takes, and which Valdosta is only like two, two and a half hours from here. So we stopped, and... I'm not even going to lie. I don't know. I don't remember which fragrances I purchased from what store anymore. 
But I'm just going to show you that. Okay, I remember where this came from. And I think I know. All right, I know where that came from. I know where that came from. This one. I think this one. I think it was these two. I think. Because I did buy something. Okay, before I get into that, I'm going to do this. So, I took three fragrances with me. Um, the one I wore Friday, which I think I already did a review on, which is Chanel Allurum Sport O Extreme. I took that. I wore this Friday, and I actually wore this on the trip there, and that night. I had this on also and Friday night was the night we were going to go to the movies and when we got to the movies that night when we got to Valdosta that thing was packed I was, we were going to see the Avengers Endgame and there was no parking in the parking lot for the theater surrounding buildings like Applebee's and like Walgreens and all this kind of they, it was like slap full so we drove around for like five, ten minutes trying to find parking, nothing. So we didn't end up getting to go to the movie theater to see Endgame, and which I'm plotting to do it now. Uh, I got to run to my job for about an hour or so and do some stuff because I didn't go to work Friday. And come back and see if I can catch it tonight. But um, this is what I wore the first night. And I also took... This one in which I'm, I wore this yesterday, but I'm not going to do a review on it. I'm just going to show you guys what I wore and tell you a little story about it. So this is uh, from, from the house of Gerlaine. This is Lone Idea Cologne. And at first I wasn't too thrilled about it because I barely could smell it, especially when I first bought it. But after putting this on and wearing it, and we actually went to a a barbecue restaurant. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but I wore this, and the young lady who took our orders, she came to the table, and she said, um, you guys smell great. And I don't know what my friend had on, but I know she wasn't smelling better than me because all I could smell was this. This is not a projection beast, but it smells wonderful. It is amazing. I like this. At first, I really didn't because it doesn't perform like, like this or the next one that I showed, I'm showed. i about to show you. But it actually is a really good fragrance. I like it, and I'm glad I have it. And I will wear this um, next week or this week coming just so I can do a full review on it. But this performed pretty good, so... With that being said, that was the second fragrance I took along with me. And the third one, if I can get this box right. The third fragrance I wore uh, I wore or took is Valentino Uomo Aqua. And this is one I purchased, I believe, in... Jacksonville, I think I got this, no, I got this in uh, Florida, um, St. Augustine, Florida, not St. Augustine, what the hell, um, I can't think right now, anyway, I bought this in Florida, um, I wore this today. Um, I sprayed two sprays of this because I know Valentino Uomo um, Intense that I have is a powerhouse. This one is not really that powerful, but it does project really strongly in the beginning. So I only did two sprays of this. I did one on the back of the neck and one squarely in the middle of my tank top. I can still smell it, but it's faint right now. Um, I still like this. I like the intense be uh, version better, but this is a 
125 ml bottle. Just like the other one, it's just a little darker. I like it. And to get to what I purchased, excuse me, guy. Um, first up, I grabbed. I grabbed Salvatore Ferragamo's Free Time. And I've heard a few reviewers talk about this. Nothing spectacular, but I've also heard Joy talk about this too. And um, I found it for $19.99, so 20 bucks, TJ Maxx. And I think this is one I purchased in Waycross on the way to Valdosta. This is one of them I purchased too. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one because I'm curious as to what this smells like. So if you already know what Salvatore Ferragamo uh, F Black looks like. This is the same kind of bottle. Uh, the black one is black in it. And this has blue. And you can tell it's dark here and it lights up. Same kind of cap. It snaps on, but I don't trust it. Atomizer looks to be the same, has pour on. And I'm just gonna give it a spray just to see what we got. It's just a, a nice, basic, freshy. That's all it is, it's nothing spectacular. So I'm not gonna rant and rave about this. Just a regular old basic freshy, something you grab and put on like a what we call a a dumb reach scent. If you don't want to take the time out to like stand around and pick something, you just grab something like this and spray it on and go to the gym to pay bills. Um, if you're just going to hang out for a few minutes somewhere, maybe an hour or so, then you know it is what it is. Twenty bucks, you can't beat it. Just to add some. Something to the collection, that's all. And I think this one also came from that same TJ Maxx. Um, I actually found the other flanker to this one, but this is this one was cheaper, like $10 cheaper. So I decided to go with this one. And this is CKB. And this was $20. I picked this up for This is the 100 ml. And the one I just showed was 50 ml. And I think I have smelled this, but I'm going to do it again now. I actually saw when I was in, uh, when we were in Valdosta, um, CK1. But they wanted about $30 for that one. It was like $29.99 or $27.99 or something like that. It was like 28 bucks. So I didn't get that one. And I keep seeing the big 200 ml bottles of it. And I don't think that much of that fragrance to want to own a 200 ml bottle. So if I can find one about this 100 ml bottle size, I'm cool with it. The one thing I'm not too fond of is this twist top and then it comes with this separate atomizer. I'm not too big on that. CK1 shop came like that also. But it is what it is. And let's give it a spray. See what it smells like. It's not a bad fragrance. Off top, it smells kind of floral. 
a little bit. So, I don't know what the note breakdown is on this, but, you know, I got it. I am going to wear it a little, so with that being said, we move on into um, Valdosta, and we go by TJ Maxx and Ross. And the first night I believe we were there, I purchased this. And this actually is one I was looking for online. I actually found it on Fragrance X, but the price, uh, well, the price was nice. I just kept taking it out of my cart and picking other stuff. But I went into TJ Maxx and I found this one for $21.99. And this is Z Zegna. And if you know of Zegna Uomo, which is a pretty popular fragrance still to the fragrance community, I love it a lot. This is another one that I wanted to get my hands on before I even got that one. And I just never pulled the trigger until now I found it. So I probably could have found this cheaper online, but it was just the thrill. Like I walked into the store, I found something and I just jumped on it. So it is what it is. Pretty nice bottle. I like this. It's nice. You can see my ugly mug behind it. As you can see, it's like some kind of plastic joint encasing it. Basic information on the bottom. Stuff like that. Batch code look like it's on the back of the bottle. Top. It doesn't snap, it slides into place. I don't trust it, but it is what it is. And they said they were going to fix my light before I left. And it's still flashing. That's what the flashing is. It's one of my light bulbs. It's not the bulb itself, it's the socket. Um, they actually gave me another bulb and I changed it. And it's still doing the same thing, so it's the socket. So apparently they didn't do their damn job while I was gone damn good sprayer it's nothing special about this just another basic fragrance nothing for you guys to you know go out and go crazy trying to find I mean, if you see this somewhere and you want to try it, you know, 20 bucks isn't bad. Just another one of those freshy type fragrances, a basic freshy. There's nothing that's going to stand out. I mean, you may get a compliment or two depending on who you're around, but nothing to break your balls about. Z Zegna. And last but not least, um, I was in Ross last night looking around and that is actually where I found the $30 or $28 uh, CK1. They had a few other fragrances. They had Michael Jordan, um, not Legend, but the other one. I can't think of the name of it, but I didn't get that one. Um, I got this one instead and I've actually seen this one before and I have some fragrances by John Mark or Jean Mark Paris. Uh, two Freshies um, summer springtime type scents. I actually picked this one up before because I heard somebody say some good things about it and I put it back. So yesterday, last night in Ross, I saw this and I said, fuck it, $10. I'm just going to go ahead and get it. I mean, what am I going to lose? I already have a few other bullshit fragrances from this house. Why not try this one? And actually, I think a subscriber or two told me that this smells good also. And this is, like I said, from the house or the guy, Jean-Marc Paris. This is Tattoo. And as you can see, 10 bucks for this one, $9.99. And same basic bottle as the other two fragrances I have from this guy. Same cheap ass top, same cheap bottle, just basic bottle. Just says tattoo, so let's give it a spray. Now, 
this, to me, as of right now, out of all of the other three bottles that I just showed, the new ones, this one smells way better than the other three. So, I will be rocking this one more than I rock the other two flankers from him. This is nice. Very sweet. Kind of seductive. A little sexy. Um, I like this one a lot. But, the one that I purchased also last night when I was in the local mall from Bath and Body Works. I was looking for... Uh, what's the name of that fragrance? Mahogany Woods. But it's discontinued. But the young lady told me that it should be coming back sometime soon. Um, she referred me to another fragrance that just came out. I smelled it. It was okay. But I smelled this one. And it made me want it. And so I got it. And it was discounted. And they gave me a coupon to mark it down some more. So I paid like 15 bucks for this. Uh, and this one is teak wood. And this thing smells damn good, man. And don't sleep on Bath and Body Works. I mean, their fragrances may not last a full day, eight hours. But the time you will have with this one when you first spray it on for a few hours... It's worth even taking a bottle with you. So it has this gorgeous amber looking color. I've already sprayed this and smelled it in the store. But. It smells so good. It's nice. I just hope it performs. But. Nice heavy bottle, top snaps into place as you guys may have just heard. It does snap into place. Pretty good. Smells amazing. I also, we also uh, stopped by uh, Victoria's Secret that was in the mall. That, I think that was our first stop or our second stop. One of the two. But anyway, um, Victoria's Secret had one and it had like this pineapple note and please guys don't say that it smells like Creed Aventus and all that kind of shit. Um, I don't believe it does but it has a nice pineapple type note to it and it was for men. I can't remember the name of it but I am going to go on their website and look it up again and see if I can find it, if I can remember what the name of it is and I may order that one. It was about 55 bucks. But I might be able to find it for cheaper. So, um, not a real good haul when I was in Valdosta, but I was kind of excited to see Ross and TJ Maxx and, you know, um, venture some of their stores just to see if they had anything decent and worthwhile. Um, nothing exciting really that I purchased, just some basic stuff, um, which was cool and, you know, no big deal. Anyway, uh, what did I spend? 20, 40, 60, 70. I spent maybe 70, 80 bucks. So, not a big deal. It is what it is. Um, did get one compliment from Gerlang Loam Idea, which was cool. And uh, Valdosta has some gorgeous women. I mean, black, white, um, mixed, uh, whatever, pan, uh, Pakistan or whatever type females those are. I don't, I don't know all the ethnicities when I see them. But there were some gorgeous women, I swear, especially at that theme park, man. Oh, my God. The women. Oh, man. I enjoyed myself, guys. I mean, I probably would have enjoyed myself better if I would have had 
you know, the maybe the fellas with me. Um, well, we could have really cut loose and, you know, wild out a little bit. But it was what it was, guys. Um, I enjoyed myself. So looking forward to taking my kids this time to Wild Adventures and having some fun. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. As you can see on the bed, my bag is still, it's just open. I just took the fragrances out I had in this bag. Um, my stuff is still in it. Uh, I'm just going to grab some clothes, some work clothes, throw something on real quick and run to the job, pull this trash real quick and come on back. And hopefully I can get to the movies. Um, in time to see the Avengers Endgame movie tonight. I want to see it tonight. I don't want to wait till next weekend. I want to see it tonight. So hopefully I can get there. Wish me luck. Um, and I know you guys are probably happy to see this video and to know that your boy made it back, made it there and back safe. Yes, I am here. I literally just got here probably an hour ago. So um, with that being said, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.